Hi, second graders. Today we're going to talk about asking and answering questions. So before you read our story today, I want you to think about what you already know about the topic of kites. Thinking about all the information that you know about a topic before you read a book about it will help you to better understand and remember what you read. So before you read, you should also think of some things that you would like to learn about the topic that you don't already know. And then as you read, you should look for the answers to your questions and see if the book answers them. So a good way to do this type of activity is to make what we call a KWL chart. So the K stands for what I know, the W stands for what I want to know, and the L stands for what I learned. So before you read our book all about kites today, I want you to fill out the K section, what I know, and the W section, what I want to know. So, and I'd like you to try to come up with hopefully two or three things for each section. So for example, when I was thinking about what I already know about um, kites, and really, I, it's not very much. I don't know a lot about kites. Um, I know there are different types of kites. And I know that kites are really fun to play with at the beach. That's where I've always played with them. Okay. Um, and what are some things that I don't know about kites that I would like to learn? I'm going to put those things in the W section. So I said, how do kites fly? What's, what's kind of the science behind it? And then my second question was, what is the fastest type of kite? So I'm going to go through and read the book. And as I read, I'll look and see if the book answers my two questions. And if it does, I'm going to write that information down at the bottom in the what I learned section. Now it's okay if the book doesn't answer your specific questions. Um, and if it doesn't, I would like you to write down maybe two or three new things that you learned about kites anyway. All right, are you ready to give it a try? Good luck.